Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. What do we got here today? We got two hammers here. We're going to do a Rockwell hardness test. Before we get to that, I got here today is a five-piece set made by Craftsman. It goes from 3 8 to 15 16 double box, 45-degree offset. This is going to be a giveaway uh, this weekend. I do giveaways every other week. Anybody that's new to the channel, you got to be subscribed. I don't care when you subscribe. you got to comment on a video coming up within a few days. I will tell you which video to be in that giveaway. What do we got here today? I want to do a... Uh, i got these Rockwell files here. You know, they're made in Japan. These are kind of pricey, but I, they're, pr they're pretty interesting, I'll tell you. Two, uh, two, two sub assign? I don't know. My, my Japanese isn't too good. But they are the HRC Rockwell scale, hardness tester, and file set. Nothing conclusive here, guys. I'm out of lab. I don't pretend to be. Just food for thought. Just very, very interesting. Let's try the one made in China first. See if we get any new scratches with the... I'm going to try the 40, the 40 on here first and see what that does. I'm not seeing any new scratches at all. There are some old scratches on there, but nothing new. I'm going to try it on the Vaughn now. Nothing new. Let's try the 45 on the one made in China. There's nothing new on there yet. The Vaughn. Made in USA. There's nothing new on that yet. Now we're going to go to the 50. We're getting a little harder gradually here, guys. Now, if, say the 50 does scratch it, that means you're under 50. Let's try the one made in China here first. It's starting to sound like it's going to scratch, but it's not. It's not scratching. I don't see any new scratches on that. These are those are old scratches. I'll let you know when I do. Let's try the one. There's nothing new on there for scratches. Now we're going to go to the 55 on the Rockwell scale. The one made in China. We're starting, this is starting, it's starting, to, it's starting to, I believe, scratch. You can tell by the sound. I don't know if you're going to pick it up or not. I'm going to do it on the side here too. I did it on the side there a little bit. You could probably pick it up. It's starting to scratch. It's starting to scratch. It's not really picking up all that great, but it is starting to scratch. You can see it probably there a little bit in the side there. So the 45, what was it, the 45? The 55 was starting to scratch the China one. Let's try the one in USA. Try it in the side here. I'm not seeing nothing yet. Nothing new, per se. That was the 55. That's what scratched the China one. So the China one is under 55. We'll try the 60. This is the 60. You're starting to get up there now. If this scratches it, it's under 60 for the Rockwell. The 60 scratching it. So it's, you'll see it. You'll see the new scratches. And I'll do it here on the side here so you can see it too. So it's worn up from the China one. Probably see, it, see if I can pick this up. You'll see a new scratches there. Those are scratches that are new. You can see it there. And there's new ones on there. You'll see it. I'm trying to get the angle. See them? Those are all new. So, yes. So, my, what's my thoughts? Nothing really um, conclusive, but no surprise. The China one was under the China one was under 55 for the Rockwell scale. And the Vaughn was under 60 for the Rockwell scale. So, yes, the USA Vaughn has harder steel. Now, you know, that's just the face of it, but you'll, you, you can see the new scratches. You can see them right there. And I did it on the side, too, right there. All new scratches. So it is better steel. No surprise there, but I just thought it was interesting. If there's anything else you want to see in the Rockwell scale, let me know. I think it's, I think it's pretty cool, you know. Again, I'm out of lab. It's nothing conclusive, but it is interesting that, yes, that uh, USA one 
is by Vaughn is uh, harder steel. The other thing I wanted to say is uh, I think this, I'm hearing rumors they're going out of business. Have any of you guys heard anything about them? That would be a Greek tragedy. We have enough, we have enough of that bad news going in the tool industry. Have any of you guys heard otherwise? Are, are, I know we're still in business. I just bought this, but are, are they going under? If you've heard, heard that, let me know. I'm very, very interested in that feedback because I think Vaughn makes a hell of a, hell of a product. You know, whenever I got a chance to buy USA Tools, I buy them in a second. All right, guys, that's just food for the thought. And uh, tomorrow, hopefully we can do a little bit of unboxing of that toolbox if it comes in time. Take care.